Terrorists dressed in hijab attack Nigerian police station in Kastina State and kill officer. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we post hot juicy news updates. Please click on the notification bell. The Kastina State Police Command has confirmed that terrorists dressed in hijab attacked a police post in Saki Jiki village. Basari local government area of a state and killed one officer, injuring another. You people can now see where that time they'll say no, make them know people know wear hijab. This is one of the reasons. There is in detail, please. The Kassina Police Public Relations Officer, Abu Bakar Liu, who made this known in a statement issued on Friday, said that the incident occurred at 8 p.m. on Thursday. The police spokesperson, however, said the police were already on top of the situation at the duty post. Ali, you said yesterday, Thursday at about 8 p.m., some suspected and bandit deceitfully dressed in hijab attacked officers at the duty post situated in Saki Jiki village of Basari local government area. The officers responded bravely and successfully repelled the attack. However, one officer lost his life and another was injured as a result of the attack. Further development will be communicated in due course, please. This comes amid recent terrorist renewed attacks in the state with Basari local government area experiencing at least two attacks within the week. Last week, bandits also attacked Kuka Babangida village in Jibia local government area of the state and killed nine residents, including the village head. Also on Sunday, it was reported that the bandits abducted three students of a private university in the state. Now, I am asking myself, do you now see, first of all, let us start from the beginning. Because it is not this kind of thing, what they call, Muric will not come out now. Muric will not come outside and say, we had this thing happen no. We send our condolences to the families of the victims and those injured who. We say sorry to these particular people of uh, the officers at this also and so station, but this person where they you know come outside and put out something, make it them even show say ah. But immediately you hear that oh they ban hijab in a particular place. You understand or in school, you go see them, they are vain, all oh, their vain, the vein will come outside for their face, you will come outside everywhere, go they see them for their nose, for their eyes, everywhere. This is one of the reasons why, when you talk about hijab, some schools will never agree. Never. If you don't pass down, you say you go wear, you say you go reach for neck here, or you go cover your, your chest, maybe a little, above. if you don't cover your chest, finish, you don't, what you don't, they're not going to allow it. This is one of the reasons. Now, the thing is, I want to ask a question. Why is it that insecurity has become a thing it is just as if they took us back two years back three years back into but well, not even two years three years back into and four years back into buhari regime and we're now in the heat of insecurity the government should stop playing with us so nigerians i want to tell you people these things for free now government they enable this thing i am telling you if government know their neighbor lamb, do you know that bandits would have been caught, then would they catch them, and if then they catch them, there is nothing like repentant terrorists. It is because the government had the day there now, and those ones, if they're not doing like that, those ones will talk. That is why you will see people, you will see people, or you see these bandits and these terrorists, they'll go kill people at will, slaughter them. And when they come communicate with them, say, ah, Nigerian army is upon us, so then we we'll send people, then we we'll talk to people we send them, they will say, okay, let me go and surrender. We are going to tell them not to, not to, not to touch you people. Imagine, people will be saying, go we'll send them, give them, as in, arrange the meeting, we'll be saying, then go meet their creator, go tell their creator why. Then they disobey them, because in tell, in tell us, say, make we no kill. Yeah? Arrange the meeting, sharp, sharp. Because he told us that it is wrong to take a life. You cannot give a life. For that reason, you don't even take a life. All, one, the only thing he gave you dominion over is animals. So you can't kill a human being and you come outside and say, oh, you have repented. Eh? 
Even there's a version in the Bible that says an eye for an eye. That whoever goes by the sword would what? Die by the sword. So what are you saying? It is there in our constitution. It is there in the Bible. But the Nigerian army and our politicians, they go they play with the, with the feelings of the Nigerian army. Those ones who they don't go fit, you know? Okay. We send our condolences to the family of the police officer that lost his life. This is where we see police and they try. I've said it before. They are sectors that you don't, no matter, no matter how much you pay them, you can never equate what they put in. Never. You cannot. No matter how you increase their salary now, so say you go match, you can never match. Those people are actually, you know, they always give a lot. As in, they give a lot. Number one, you see the police, the military, the military body, the military, uh, what's it called? The military of the country, number one. Number two, you see professionals such as doctors, nurses, people who work in the health sector, mm? people who work in the security sector. Do you understand? And which of the one, which people again? There are people who genuinely work for, they, are under, for the, they work for the legal sector, but how they do their own is, they make sure we say, I don't feel they work for human rights. Thank you. Those people, you can never, there is no how much you start paying them today. If you like, start to they give each police officer one, one million every month, 500,000. You know, you quit them. Tell them, say, make them stop to the stand for roads. Say, when they give them one, 500,000 naira every month, and you're not going to be owing them. Uh uh. Wait do road. Then go, I will come up for road now. After arresting a few of them and persecuting them, they treat them as VIP. I would a few scholarships, same Western education they rejected and called haram, while many other escaped from prison under very odd circumstances. Now they are back to replay the scholarship and the prison break. Now what Nigeria? Do you understand? Do you understand what this person is saying? All these things, if governments had no DM, why would they be able to even break out of prison number one? Why would they be tagged repentant terrorists and so that nothing will happen to them? They go use our money, they use train these people. You don't see that kind of thing. Person using hand buy a uh, buy snake, keep for us, the train snake. Now you tell me say never sign your death warrant, you never sign her. You're supposed to sign her down. And the snake where you keep for us, no be snake will be say you no know, the poison the poisonous one. Ah, auntie. Just go sign. Make we know now homicide you won't just commit, that's all. Do you understand? Their businessmen, not us, are perfectly okay with them. The Lord don't say this so. Whether I like it or not, they're not us who do not have a say. They don't have control over what is going on. And they're always at the helm of receiving this type of things. All right, so just note you have come to the end of the news. So thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.